Once you start getting strokes, you can even do like drawing. Okay, and then just go over. Look how quickly I'm working. Precision is not my name. I'm not concerned about that. See now the initial drawing of the rock is virtually lost, but you can still see it and still maybe recognize the shape of the rock. See that marbling effect starts, and when this dries, it will dry in relief like a 3D. So we we'll all also have texture and a 3D effect. Basically I got Pollock's idea and somewhat developed it. I'm not the only one who's doing this by the way, I've seen other people work like this, but not that many. Locally uh, Ambrose Avellano has done similar stuff using uh, enamel and he's had some interesting results. Very good painters locally, very good, extremely good painters actually, for such a small place. Ambrose taught me something very important and maybe at a later stage if we have the time we'll bring him on the programme. He told me, he taught me uh, to lose the fear of losing, you know, of spoiling the painting. He was one of the ones that actually told me, look, just take it all the way destroy it and then construct. Now I'm just being, I don't know, adventurous. I'm just experimenting. Even, you know, boom, why not? Stuff like that. It's like action painting. It's to see if the painting merges with the canvas. Okay, now I, I've realized that the background is not in, in line with, with the foreground, with the actual rock. So I've just got the, the actual uh, uh, jar of, of uh, dark brown, and I'm going to see how, what effect I get. If I like it, I'll leave it. If not, I'll, I'll just do something else. But let's see how this looks straight from the jar. Get it, that's it, it's coming. So that's going to make the background somehow look similar to the foreground and maybe serve to unite the painting. I'm not sure whether I have enough of this color, but now I'll combine it with the other one. This is pure, pure action painting. Just using color for what it is, or ink or paint for what it is. Look at that line. I need to move to the other side. Yeah, you can use any colour you want. Now this, like I said before, in a nice house with very clean cut furniture could look a treat. Okay, it's coming together now. You can see it's becoming an interesting image and very quickly done. Bit of a shake to the paint, make sure it's nicely mixed up. And this is the original colour we used for the background, the, the uh, burnt sienna. Mixed with the burnt amber, should look good. Let's see what we get. Straight from the jar. Fearless. It's a bit runny, it doesn't matter. It just adds to the effect, I'll, I'll work with it. Right, now I, I've got a feeling that the painting needs a bit of colour. I'm going to try this sort of cold cerulean blue. 
which usually mixes well with the uh, uh, amber and the sienna. It gives a nice gray. I'm just going to pour a bit, see what effect I get. I'm using one of these jars. I mean, I don't want to overdo it. I just want a bit of a coldness in certain areas. As in, you know, behind. I'm going to be careful with this jar because uh, I can't control the, the amount of paint. Even use those drops. See, that looks, that works well with the, with the brown. See, there's too much there, but I can always cover it again. Again, no fear of spoiling it. The areas that I've overdone, I'll cover it again with another colour now. See, the areas where I had a lot of blue, very quickly with a bit of black. And just salvage it. Same thing happens here, but look at all the layers we're getting now, all the different thicknesses of paint. Well, that's a lot better now. Okay, I think that's more or less it for, for, for this week. Still a bit more I can do. A painting, it's very hard to tell when a painting is finished. And you can go on and on and on and even kill it. Um, but I, at least I've proved my point what I'm trying to do with this, with this uh, program today. Um, contemporary art, art of today, anything goes. Got a good idea, try it out. If it looks good, fine. If not, you cover it all in white, you start again. Like I said last week, enjoy your painting, have fun, let yourself go and experiment. Thank you, good night. <laughs>